A harvest field. It's not something you would expect to see in a desert place. Yet, if you were to visit the mountain desert regions of the Four Corners, specifically on the Navajo Reservation, a spiritual harvest field is exactly what you would see. The nation's largest Native American tribe and reservation area covering parts of Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico is yielding a harvest of precious souls like nothing seen in their recent history. For generations, mission work among the Navajo has been like toiling in a dry and barren land with obstacles such as rampant alcohol and drug addiction, domestic abuse, native traditionalism, and a strong presence of false religion and cults, you might think that such an environment would yield little fruit. Yet, over the years, faithful servants have labored to channel and irrigate this region with the life-giving water of the Word of God. This labor has resulted in the miraculous, a vibrant harvest field ripe for church planting and evangelism. Thousands of Native Americans are being reached with the gospel of Jesus Christ through the ministries of churches based on the Navajo Nation. In just the last 10 years, 10 brand new independent Baptist churches have sprung up alongside other faithfully laboring works in Navajo land. A youth camp has been built and organized where Native young people come to be challenged in their spiritual growth and walk with God. Souls are saved and young men surrender to preach each summer through this program, giving hope that what the Lord has begun will continue to greater extents in the generations to come. Ganado Baptist Bible College was established in 2012 and serves as a training hub for men and women who have surrendered their lives to the Lord's work in a full-time capacity. Native Bible Radio is currently in development online in cooperation with other developing physical radio stations to bombard both internet and airwaves with the Word of God. The Navajo Land Baptist Missions efforts with the Navajo tribe is acting as a spur to missionary work among other tribes with over 574 federally recognized tribes in the United States. There is no time to waste in doing your part to help Navajo Land Baptist Missions and thereby impact all of Native America. To some, these reservations and people groups may appear a fruitless desert and thereby avoid investment for fear of little immediate fruit. However, God's work among the Navajo is proof that a harvest in the desert is possible. Listen to this message of encouragement from missionary Joel Haynes about how you can be involved in reaching both the Navajo and other Native American tribes across this country. I'd like to challenge everyone that's watching this video to consider four ways that you could get involved in reaching Native America with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Number one, you could pray for us. Pray for more laborers that are willing to go and reach this needy people group. Uh, pray for those that are already serving and reaching tribal people, that God would put His hand of power upon their ministry and their families and their endeavors. Secondly, you can get involved by financially supporting a church planting missionary that's going to a tribal people, or help with special projects, or reach out to a native pastor that due to the economy in the area could use a little bit of help to get things moving in the ministry. Thirdly, I challenge you to research your area and find out if there are any Native American tribes close by where you could get involved in an outreach program or do something in your local church to show that community that you care and show them the love of Christ. And then fourthly, I'd ask you to consider God's calling on your own life to participate in person in a missions trip, traveling and putting boots on the ground to encourage a missionary or native pastor. Or perhaps the Lord's calling you into the ministry and would have you give your life to reach a Native American group. However you can help, these are four areas that, that every one of us can consider. 
there is a harvest in the desert, but harvest is a season, and seasons don't last forever. Would you reach out to us at NavajoLandBaptistMissions.com and let us know how you can help to reach not only Navajo country, but Native America.